Have you ever been on camera before? No. You haven't? No. We're popping her cherry. <laughs> Hey guys, it's today Johnson from Hello Well, and today I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend Nusha. Hi. And I wanted to have Nusha on the channel today to talk about food and grocery shopping in particular. Every time I share one of my healthy videos on Instagram or whatever, or pictures, Nusha always messages me. They look so good. And you're always like, teach me how to cook, teach me how to grocery shop. What's the barrier like? What's your issue? <laughs> Not that you have issues, but like, ooh, what stops you from making healthy food at home? I just don't know where to start. Like I go to the grocery store and I have no idea what to buy. I end up buying like a random mix of things and then I go home, like I've spent $200 and I have nothing to eat because like I don't know how to make anything. So this is what we're going to tackle today. So if you have issues, the same sort of issues as Nusha, <laughs> Hopefully this helps you out. Okay, so step one, when it comes to grocery shopping, pre-organizing is totally key. Okay. So what I do every time I grocery shop, I take a look at the foods that I wanna make that week. Cool, so you plan the whole week ahead of time. Yes. Okay. And then I actually have, I'm gonna grab it, and then I've actually got this recipe book. This is, what word am I trying to say? An accumulation, is that a word? Yeah. <laughs> like a collection? That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> I pull out my recipe book. I've got like a collection of all my favorite recipes. So usually I'll just pull this out and then like I'll look through the recipes as you can see and I'll be like, okay, yeah, this week I wanna make vegan cream of mushroom soup. So I'll look through my ingredients and I'll actually make a list on my cell phone of okay. all the ingredients that I need from each recipe. Does that make sense? Yes. So figuring out what you wanna eat that week, step number one. Looking through the ingredients, figuring out what you need to make those recipes, step number two, and then putting them in your phone. Okay, that's so easy. So when you go to the grocery store, you're like, shit, what was in that recipe? It's just okay. like right there in your phone. Easy? Easy, but okay. <laughs> step two, where do I get the recipes? Okay, that's a great question. <laughs> so like I said, I've been like searching and on the hunt for different recipes over the years, and I've put my favorite ones in here and modified them. If you're brand new to cooking and don't have any recipes, usually what I do is like in my mind, I'll try and think of something that I love to eat. Like what's something that you love to eat? Pasta. There you go. So you could just like go on Google and just Google pasta recipes. Or just like if you're vegan, Google like vegan. But how ways. do you make healthy options? Okay, so then you would just Google like healthy pasta recipes. Okay. Yeah, so whatever it is that you like, whatever it is you're looking for, whether you need gluten-free recipes or vegan recipes, whatever it is you like, you can just Google that. There are so many great recipes. You can go on YouTube, you can subscribe to my channel and see all the healthy <laughs> recipes here. But that's what I did for the longest time was like, I would go on YouTube and I would just Google like vegan, what I eat in a day. And people make videos of like healthy okay. foods that they eight in a day. So that's kind of how I started. How do you know what ingredients are like good for you? Um, should I be reading the labels of things? I never do any of that. Yeah, that's a great question as well. I always say try to eat foods as close to earth as possible. Okay. So the less like man-made, the better. Okay. If it grew in the ground or on a tree, if it's of the earth, if it's a whole food that hasn't been processed, that is your best bet. So for me, when I go into a grocery store, they always say like shop on the outsides of the grocery store. Cause oh. that's where like the least processed foods are. That's where like all your fruits and vegetables, all your produce is going to be. And then if you eat meat and stuff like that, like usually all the fresh real stuff is on the oh, outsides of the grocery store. Cool. And then if you notice like the middle of the grocery store is where you've got all your like packaged, got processed, it. boxed, canned stuff. And I try to stay away from the processed stuff as much as possible. Um, but once in a while, you know, like I'll have canned beans or there's sometimes like certain sauces that I will buy that are made by man. But yes, when I buy those things, I make sure I read the ingredients. And the key is to always just like look through the ingredients and if you can't pronounce it, like probably don't eat it. Okay. If it's not something you recognize, your body's probably not gonna recognize it either. Got it. Personally, when I'm looking at labels, I'm looking at things more like sugar. I'm trying to make sure that sugar isn't like high in the ingredients. Okay. Because basically if you look at a label, like whatever comes up first in the ingredient list, there is the most of that product. Got it. In the ingredients. So if like the first ingredient is sugar. That's bad. Yeah, like okay. you know there's gonna be lots of sugar in that product. 
Um, so for me, that's more what I'm concerned about is like chemical crap that my body's not going to digest and sugar. Do you always buy organic food or does it matter? For me, I typically do. Like we're going to go to Whole Foods today and I know a lot of people have such a hate on for Whole Foods, even though Amazon is like taking them over now. So oh, th crazy. things are actually cheaper. Yeah. You know, you can find avocados okay. for like 99 cents. Nice. Um, but for me, I personally, it's a personal choice. I do buy organic most of the time. Um, just because for me growing up, I was really unhealthy. So my health is like my number one priority and I'm constantly just doing things that I feel like will help me feel the best that I can. Um, if you don't have the funds or for whatever reason you don't want to buy organic, the dirty dozen list. Have you heard of that? No. <laughs> so the dirty dozen list is a list of the produce that you really should buy organic. And usually it's because they don't have like peels or, or anything on them like protecting them. Apples and grapes don't have, they don't have like a banana peel on them. Got it. So the pesticides are like right on the actual fruit or whatever that you're gonna eat. That's gross. A little bit. <laughs> so we'll include the dirty dozen list down below. One other thing I wanted to say about Whole Foods, why I personally like shopping at those kinds of stores um, is because I know that they're gonna have everything that I need there. If you have food sensitivities or if you're a vegan, I personally don't wanna be driving around to like right. a million different grocery stores in the city. I know that if I go to like a, a nature's fair or a Whole Foods or something like that, they're gonna have more of those like specialty health products. And for me, I'm willing to spend a little bit more to save a little bit of time. Cool. All right, so now we're just gonna go grocery shopping. Yay, this isn't your first grocery shop though, right? No, I go to the grocery store. <laughs> Just making sure. intimidating because you were there telling me what to get <laughs> I don't know. how is it gonna be next time when I'm not there it's gonna be okay because I'm gonna make that list on my iPhone and then I'm yeah. gonna go get everything amazing all right well that's about it thank you Nisha for joining me this week I hope that helped and Very um helpful. If you have any other like questions or things that you want help with in the future, like we can definitely do more videos like this. Cool, fun. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, same for you guys. If you guys have any questions, if you have any comments or videos you would like to see in the future, Nusha mentioned like maybe doing like a food prep video or doing like converting into a plant-based diet, whatever you guys want. Um, yeah, let me know. Thank you so much for watching the video. Comment, like it, and subscribe for weekly videos. We'll see you next week, guys. Don't step the bread and let you move around till the town gets you. Don't step the bread and let you dance around till we face the ground. Don't step the bread and let you move around till the town gets you. Don't step the bread and let you dance around till we face the ground.